Brand new green and gold multi-purpose flooring now sits in the John F. Kennedy High School gym. Not the same site from two weeks ago where the gym was being used as storage for construction equipment. According to signature flooring foreman Brian Boggs, Guam's humidity delayed the project. But when he arrived last week, the island's temperature met specifications. Humidity plays a major part in any flooring. What it does is it migrates up. And so you have to have air conditioning going, you have to have the door shut, you have to have the floor clean. There's, there's, a, much, there's a bunch of different reasons for that to happen. Bog says the newly installed flooring will sit for a week before the gym's bleachers can be installed. It's a multi-purpose floor. I mean, you could play volleyball, badminton, basketball, um, hold events in here, dances. I mean, you can use this facility for anything. So, I mean, they can experience pretty much any game they want to in here. JFK assistant principal Hannah Gutierrez is also happy to report that it's not just the gym that's seeing some TLC, but the dance room and the various sports fields. We're happy. Uh, we did meet with the CAPFA reps a few weeks ago, and uh, we've been promised that there are some dates that would be met. Uh, right now, April 30th is our target dates for mainly the major projects. Gutierrez says Contractors International Bridge Corporation have changed their tune since Capital Finance Projects Authority stepped in earlier this month. Things have been a lot better, like we said. Uh, I think the communication has been there uh, with our daily maintenance. I think the major construction uh, issues were the ones that were a real factor in our relationship. But uh, since CAMPA has come in and the secondary construction company has stepped in, things have really been moving along and the JFK community is very happy. Gutierrez says IBC has also been more cooperative with JFK's efforts to go green and are turning off lights and air conditioners during the evening hours. As we report, JFK's power bill hit six figures last December. What it was calendars use the interim campus in Tiedzin. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.